Atlanta Hawks. Man, with suits and no shirts on. Uh -huh. I like that suit. Right you like that suit, Chuck? I like John that suit. Collins. That's my favorite in the slam dunk, Ernie. Oh, last night you didn't even know who he was. I wouldn't know who it was, but I watched him last night. Trying <laughs> to join Neek and Spud and Josh Smith as Hawks to win. So welcome to Spectrum Center, y'all. Ernie Johnson and Shaquille O'Neal. Kenny the Jet Smith and Charles Barkley. We are pumped to bring this to My favorite us. night of the weekend. It's Saturday, this is, night? Uh, Saturday night is my favorite night of the entire weekend. Wow. Even as a player? Even as a player. Wow. Yeah, even as a player. Shaq, you I'm used to you were so well known just for your reactions courtside during the slam dunk. For many years. You know, I can remember as a youngster growing up, my favorite dunk contest was the great Michael Jordan versus the great Dominique Wilkins. Just very entertaining for me, kind of inspired me. I know a lot of these guys will be inspired by what they saw, you know, guys before them play do. And I just want it to be a flawless night. What I mean by flawless, please uh -oh. make it, make it on your first Oh, my no, God. stop it, please. Hey, you, know, you already me, starting to be the Russian the judge already. Please. I got a question for you. Yes. Though. If that was your favorite of all time, what's the favorite that you have witnessed in person? The favorite that I witnessed in person was Vince Carter. Because no, 2000, you, I'm with 2000 because yes. you. 2000, because, you know, being a fan of the game and being in the game, you pretty much have seen all the dunks. I've never seen that dunk before. And I, you well, know what? I've never heard an all-star arena explode the way it did that night in Oakland when Vince yeah, Carter was you know, I had the blessing of being able to call that <laughs> it, it was funny Ernie because you know how they dunk on one side of the arena yeah so every time Vince Carter would dunk the arena would try to run to the other side yeah. to be on that side of the arena to see it it was a unbelievable display yeah, it was exciting. of excitement and then Tracy McGrady Steve Francis those guys were would have won oh, yeah. any other dunk contest but uh, that one. Nobody was beating Vince Carter that night. My hey, favorite Chuckster. part of that, yeah. Carter, my favorite part of that, I went back and I read, because I was like, he he did a 360 but brought his arm the other. My favorite part was, it's over, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's <laughs> over. <laughs> it's that's, over. That's lived since that day. Oh, it's been in every highlight reel about the All-Star Slam dunk. Chuckster, earlier today, what, what have you been doing Waiting for this to happen. Have you been in front of the TV all day? Well, I know actually I went to the Sacramento Kings Vivek and Blotty told me to tell her, hello We went to a brunch. Ernie, did you uh, know brunch is a combination of breakfast and lunch? Yes, I I'm did like, as a matter of fact <laughs> <laughs> did you, uh, What'd you eat? Yeah, What'd you eat? Did you eat uh, breakfast or lunch? Uh, eggs Benedict. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. There yeah, eggs go. Benedict and some uh, yeah. some baked chicken. I'll be doing yeah. the Legends brunch tomorrow So I'm yeah. well aware of what a brunch is. Okay, also, so also, how about a Lekfrist? Have you ever had a Lekfrist? No, no, I haven't. That's, a, that's an electric a combination breakfast. of lunch and uh, that's, that's not a thing <laughs> But the rest of the day I would watch golf. Oh, really? You know what you missed? What? You missed Alliance of American Football today on yes, TNT. And it Wait. was your Birmingham Iron, man. Okay. Watch, Trent, look, Trent. look, they're down 9 nothing to the Salt Lake oh, uh, Stallions. Give me that. Run it back in. Wait. Run it back in. And uh, listen, they, oh, lost, oh, they recover it for the touchdown. Wait, do we? Wait, we lost to the Mormon? No, no. Hey, listen to me. Now, now you're within three, and then. Who's the only guy you Trent, know? Trent Richardson. Trent Richardson oh. scores the game winning. Oh. Tell you what, Birmingham, you can't let me down. We can't lose to the Mormons. That's been bad for us. So it's uh, 12 They only nine. scored 12 points. And, and you, but you won the game. Uh, and, and, and you, you know what? Hey, you, hey, hey, you, know, you know how bad that is? I don't even know the point spread on that game. You know what else you don't know? You know one player on that team, and he played for Alabama. There were four Auburn guys, and you don't know them. See, so sad. Wait, name, name one. Oh, I can. Underdog has him. Oh. He just told me that. Okay, I apologize to my four Auburn guys. Uh, all right. Hey, let's look at the schedule for tonight. All Star Saturday night. Uh, the Taco Bell Skills Challenge, the Mountain Dew three point contest, the AT&T Slam Dunk. And you know who's happy? Who's that? The sponsors, because I named each one as we take a look at what comes up. I tell you what, man, that Mountain tonight. Dew, Mountain yeah. Dew and a honey bun every oh, Friday when I got my, my allowance. How about some Taco Bell? The sugar <laughs> of the uh, You challenge. know, I, I did Taco Bell commercial, but Ernie, when I was poor, every Friday with my allowance, I got a honey bun and a Mountain Dew. Why don't you just pour sugar straight in your mouth? It would have been easier. <laughs> uh, among those in the Taco Bell Skills Challenge Field, Trey Young and Cool Hand Luka Doncic, and they spoke with Dennis Scott. All right, thanks, guys. Here with Trey Young and Luka Doncic. Trey, we'll start with you first. 
How is the first part of the season for a dream for you come true that I'm in the NBA and I'm part of All-Star Weekend? I mean, it's, it's been a great season so far uh, for me. I think uh, I mean, I've progressed in the, the right direction. Our team has as well. Um, I think that's all I've been looking for and our team has been looking for. So I'm very happy with the, the future uh, of Atlanta and the way we're going. And uh, I'm just I'm excited to be a part of Atlanta. So. And you, Luca, you've come in with the Luca step back. You're having so much fun in the fourth quarter. Has everything lived up to your expectations? Yeah, I mean, it's been like a great season for me, for my team. Uh, we're fighting there to get in the playoffs. Uh, eventually, uh, for me, I never lose hope, you know, to get in the playoffs. But, you know, it's it's been my first season, so hope many to go. All right, now let's talk a little trash now. Now, how do we practice? Know the skills. We know how important it is to get that first pass through the bucket. Yeah. How important is it? I think it's very important, especially when you got a lot of really good, really good players uh, in this. I mean, Luca, uh, Fox, all these fast dudes. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta get that first pass going. And Luca, they talk about speed and pace. How much faster do you have to go to make sure you hit all the angles right? Yeah, you gotta go faster. You know, I'm not not very good at, at this, but you know, like I, like he said, you know, I think the first pass is really important. You know, if you make this, you're in a good pace. No trash talk. You guys got traded for each other on draft night, so maybe a little extra stuff for the night? Uh, no, nah, I mean, we, we both want to win. We both want to compete. Uh, but, uh, no, nah, no no trash talk. Come on. Come on, Luke, a little bit. I'm not a one. You know, I remember trying once, but I was that was terrible what I did. So I, I'm not good at it. <laughs> not, for not, sure. not too confident about the first. Got to get the first pass down, then I can trash talk a little bit. All right, good luck. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Right, thank you. 3D trying unsuccessfully to generate trash talk before the Taco Bell Skills Challenge. Who you like? You need well, to see the field again. Yeah, let me see. want to look at the guys. Let me see the field. Again. Well, I have an answer anyway. Well, okay, well, he well there's he a lot of. Um, I have to go with De'Aaron Fox because of the speed and because of his Sacramento ties. Well, no, forget that. He has great speed. He does pass. And because ball. of his Sacramento ties. No, no, he does pass. Well, a lot of those guys don't pass. Luca don't pass. Kyle don't pass. The big guys have been winning this contest. Remember yes, Call Anthony Towns won it? Yes, they pass, but they get doubled and they kick it out to the guards. But it's not bigs against backcourt this time. Yeah. Gonna, there is going to be a random draw that you're going to see live like just before the uh I like that. The I'm a, I, I begins. Well, pick somebody. Pick I'm, gonna, I'm not a fool, first of all. <laughs> Nobody's fool. But I'm going to go with um, Mike Conley Jr., who's been... Old, overlooked, old, old veteran. Old, 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 old. All you have to do is make a pass and, and dribble up the court. He does that every night. Well, he don't have anybody to pass it to in Memphis. Right, so it, it'd be easier to get it through a through a hole than to get it to one of those guys who can't catch the ball. Well, I'm gonna go with Trey Young. Uh, I do. I think. Uh, what do you think is fast between Trey Young and De'Aaron Fox? Oh, De'Aaron Fox. Fox. De'Aaron Fox. What kind of question faster. is that? It's like me and you. I'm way faster than you. But in terms of shooting. Oh, now you're faster than me. Oh, he is faster. Uh, now you came in last. Oh, now. You mean now. Now, not in while y'all oh, playing. Not, not in my heyday. You, yeah, in your heyday, too. No, you, no, no, you wouldn't have. Chuck, stop it. Stop it. Okay. Chuck, stop it. Right. So, round, so, round so we got, a, you got Trey Young, you got Mike Conley, you got De'Aaron, De'Aaron Fox, Fox, and you got Cool Hand Luka Doncic. Who you Donchich. got, Luke? All right. I got Cool Hand Luka going. I'll tell you what's going to be. He didn't do much last night. The 19-year-old will shine tonight. I'll tell you what. I'm ready for this three-point shoot contest. Oh. I think Steph Curry going to put on a show at home. I don't right. know. And, and Seth might, too. Yeah. They yes, both home? They both yeah. home. Yeah, but one of them's a little better than the other one. Yeah, in a game. In, in life, too, actually. Shooting's different. Shooting's different. And one got a way better it's team. Right Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and you name it. And KG joins us now. Big ticket. Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing, man? Happy All-Star to you. You're right. looking quite fresh, my brother. Saying to y'all, man, I see y'all. I'm trying to keep up. I see y'all. I see y'all. What's up, Kenny? Hey, I, I uh, see don't you. party man. last night, bro. I appreciate you Ooh. coming through, man. Oh, you got in the party? I, I went early, though, Shaq. Shaq. I had to get there early. Shaq I had some people. Pre- Shaq, pre- Shaq, Shaq was a fan because they asked him for ID. Yeah. They what? asked him for ID. Yeah. Yeah, they just, no, they didn't. They said yes, they moved move over so Shaq could go through. And he said, no, don't move people. I move people. Anyway, shout out to Kenny's guy. That's Ken Jermaine, that guy. Me uh, hey, you're, look, I'm, go ahead, you're right. looking forward. You're looking forward to hanging with Chuck. I am, man. So it's never a dull time with Chuck, man. Chuck and I got some. We have some good times together. Yes, sir. We do. It's always an honor and a privilege to work with the great Kevin Garnett. Stop it, man. My man with them skinny jeans on. Stop it. Look, you still jealous over there, huh? I told you, man. I wanted to work with you, man. They thin <laughs> jeans. <laughs> I, hard, I hardly recognize you without the hoodie, man. You hey, you know, hey, Ernie. Sometimes you got to just switch it up a little oh, bit. I know, man. I saw the 
switch up. Switched up nice. That's a switch hey, up. Now they think that I'm versatile. Is that is that that's burgundy, right? That's 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 garnet. Garnet. Okay. Like oh god. That's one team. One team. I like it. Kevin Garnet. Kevin Garnet. Two questions. First first question. What's the name of your church, Pastor Garnet? Looking like a Okay, here we go. All right. All right. Second question. Second question. And my man dressed like a butler. I got. I was about to say he got the chef. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Kevin. Shaq. I almost called him Benson when he walked oh, up here. Whoa, whoa, so, whoa, I got whoa. Question. You and uh, Chuck going to be sitting uh, courtside. Yeah. Be honest. If you miss the first dunk, does it really still have that same sting? It doesn't, man. Thank you. We all okay. know that. Uh, we all know that. Yeah, we're all they don't know that. You listen, can't change the rule, no, bro. Listen, though. Your first rules. dunk sets you the momentum change. for everything Thank else, man. Thank that, you. That's a momentum build. But you can't change the rules, big fella. You, you can't get no fifth if you miss one and two dunks. I have a question. I do think that it does change the momentum, based, but I do uh, think based on the dunk, you still can get a 50. Okay. Because if you if you did a let's say a 720, yes, and you that, missed the first one, yeah, that's going to. And then you do the 720. Well, how can the you agree? Well, how can you agree? You you gotta get how can you agree? At 720. No. How can you agree? Now, if you're doing a simple dunk that what is you someone else could do? Yes. I that understand. will take it away. But if you're doing something that no one's ever tried before, and, and, well, first of all, and, and you take you twice, well, you still first get of all, a there's right. no dunk nobody's ever tried. Nobody's Stop done it. it. Nobody's done a right. 720, and I see that's that's right. all the uh, depots. That's the last true. person that tried a 720 or something like that. Right. Nobody's true. done it in the NBA. Oh, Nobody in the NBA tried. I was just about to say the the Canadian kid actually air up there. The guy air up there did that too as well. Maybe somebody will do a 721. You too. Okay. Hey, listen. That's what's up, Ernie. I like that. I like that, Ernie. We need to. Hear from Anthony Davis because uh, at the All Star practice today, uh, the media got uh, their chance to question him, and then so did uh, the folks at NBA TV. And here's what AD had to say today. Um, whatever list that came out, um, that's between you know, my agent and the Pelicans. Um, no, it's true. Obviously, the, Pel the Pelicans are going to do what's best for them. They have to do what's best for them. Um, my my intentions are still the same. Um, you know, no matter who the you know GM is or whoever, you know my my intentions are the same. But um, you know, I, you know Pelicans made a move that was best for their organization. Um, and you know, for me, I'm still going to go out there and, and play basketball for you know obviously it's Danny Ferry right now, and, and go out there and continue to play basketball with my teammates. <laughs> I never said Boston wasn't on my list. I never said it wasn't on my list. I never said it was not on my list. Somebody had told me that you had mentioned maybe the Celtics being on that list. I just wanted to clarify. Uh, is that is that uh, on the list or uh, not 20, on the list? Uh, 29 of the teams are on my Everyone's list. Everyone's on the like, list. I don't have a preferred destination. Um, like I said, I, I, I just want to win. You know, they actually big market, small market. I, I don't care. You know, I, I want to win. So AD saying that all, all the other teams in the league are on the list as possible landing. Oh, you spots. mean the right way? Except yeah. the Pelicans are yeah. not on that list. Yes, oh. well, I mean, but the other 29 teams are on that list. KG, what's your overall look at at what he had to say today and how this whole thing, this dumpster fire, as Alvin Gentry called it the other night, has gone down? It's not my. It's not my taking. It's not my liking. I don't like the way the process has come out. I, Chuck, I, I kind of follow what you said. I don't. Like that, the fact that the uh, the agents are dictating the whole move of this, you know, shout to Rich Paul, shout to Clutch and what they do. But this was a bit unprofessional, to be honest. You know, to, to call for a trade that you know that you probably couldn't put, probably couldn't get in the, in the long run, and probably know that it was a long shot to get it done during the season like this. Not only cause hiccups in your own program, but you know, think about the Lakers and the hiccups that it caused over there. Those kids was playing. Totally different basketball than they were after the trading deadline. Y'all saw that the energy was a lot yeah. different. It's a time and place for everything. It's a time and place for business, and it's a time and place, but only if it's aligned. If it's not aligned, Ernie, it's a big distraction. These kids are not, pro they're not programmed to be able to push through a lot of things. Nonetheless, trade talk. They're very sensitive, very sensitive generation. You so know, you have to be careful on how you do things, and that includes business. You know, we've all been in this situation before. <clears throat> the more professional way would to would then have to take care of it this summer, or another professional way. If you go to the general manager and say, "I'm not going to embarrass your club and say I'm not going to sign," but right. sir, yeah. I would like to be traded right away, and nobody know anything. Once you start talking to the media, everybody starts speculating. Everybody starts, "Oh, he did with Rich Paul. He want to play for Lakers." It gets out of control. Now it's so out of control. Nobody believes in it. Once that thing went public, once it went from, "Hey." 
maybe it's just Rich Paul talking to the Pelicans and saying, hey, let's get something done. Once that went from that stage to, hey, I want to be traded, then Ernie, that's where it got to be a mess. Speaking a little firsthand on my point of view, they are both right. So when I asked the 76ers to trade me, I said, listen, I love Philadelphia. If I have to stay here, I don't want to burn my bridges. This is when the season ended. I says, I'm not coming back here next year. I said, I want y'all to make the best deal for y'all self because Philadelphia's been a great city to me, and I don't want to alienate the fans. I said, I'm not coming back here again. You guys got the whole summer to trade me, and that's what happened. You, you know, said you, this? You yes, said this. Yes. Not your agent, but you no, said this. But first of all, let's get one thing. But you said, agent said works for you, team. man. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you something about the agent. The agent works for the player. It doesn't work the other way around. All these players, Anthony Davis is a great, great player. I don't care who represents him. I like Rich Paul. But let me tell you something. The player has to always remember, we can't get another Anthony Davis, but we can get another agent. Eight players control your destiny. Yeah, well, it's a legacy. I, I think overall, everyone has great points. And I think that the the one issue that on a positive standpoint, you, 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 you're trying to give your, your, your franchise an opportunity to say, oh, you get an opportunity to trade me like you did and like Anthony is, was trying to do. But the disassociation that he ha is having now it's pro I, didn't, I didn't have a problem up until it, honestly, up until now, where several times in the, in the thing he said, they, he's still part of the organization, he's part of the team. That's the only part that he's already removed himself now. And so that, to me, was the only part that I, but you have the right to say where you want to go, where you want to go, and what you want to do. Well, I don't now, do, do you, you do have the right. But do, do, do you think it was in poor taste? Some might say it was. But you have the right to say that. Because also, there are franchises, if you don't say things public, which I've been part of, maybe not the Pelicans, they don't believe you're serious. But they don't think that you walk in that office and go, I'm not going to do this. But they don't think you're serious if you don't say it public. I don't know if the Pelicans are like that. You don't but leave I'm saying that. there are, are people like You don't leave at halftime. You don't leave your team oh, no, at halftime, man. All I said because up until the trickle effect there. of what all this is happening now. Right. That's the problems I'm having with. Right. Yeah, now you're the not in the effect. locker room with I your, agree. With your, with your, with your guys. You left early. Like, that's I agree. Got not, not a good look for the league. Not a good Kevin look. Garnett joining us here. He'll be with Charles Barkley tonight during the AT&T. Hey, hey, Chuck. Chuck. Slam oh. dunk. Chuck, who you got tonight, Chuck? A honey bun and a Mountain Dew. Hey, Mr. Coffee. Yeah. Every Friday, when my little daddy, when my little daddy gave him my allowance, honey bun and a Mountain Dew. Yeah, like I said, just pour yeah, a bag of sugar. Dad, down. that's what I call my, that's what I call my granddaddy. Oh, okay. Hey, that go to great Jesse Jackson, one of the great civil rights pioneers of all time. Thank you, Rev Jackson. A mainstay at All Star Weekend. Okay, Cat, I see and you. And there is Cat, okay. who you'll see tomorrow during the All Star game. Look at y'all on Snapchat. Eh? <laughs> I got him. I got him. Let's go from plans to the Taco Bell skills challenge in a field of 10 shooters, including the defending champion Devin Booker and uh, Dirk Nowitzki in his uh, NBA swan song this season. And also in that midst, the, uh, the brothers Curry, who spoke with Dennis Scott. All right, guys, I'm kind of excited right now because I've known these two young men since they've been knee-high, hanging out my old son, Ryan. But let's get right to it. So much is talked about the shooting family, you, your dad, your guy shoot the basketball. So I'm getting right to it. Who's talking more trash tonight? I'm going to start with you. Uh, it's going to be trash talk on both sides. You know what I'm saying? We both want to win it. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to try to put on a show for the fans. So uh, if, if I can get in his head before he gets in mine, I got an advantage. You hear that now? He said if he can get in your head, if anybody can get in your head, he's been knowing you since you've been knee high. Can he do it? He knows what buttons to press. Uh, you just threw him the lob right there. You gave him the mic first, so he got the. Uh. Yeah, that, that's messed up. Younger brothers are getting to me, but it's uh, it's gonna be fun, like you said. You go out there and just uh, compete in Charlotte, you know, where we grew up, uh, where we've been shooting for for years, and uh, just have fun with it. And speaking of fun, we know Dad played in the NBA. But there's a video we're about to show right now of Mom making an underhand half-court shot. Tell me about that. Oh, yeah, she did her thing yesterday. That was at a charity event. Uh, we had a little family shooting competition. Everybody got involved, my sister, 
Uh, my mom, obviously, she knocked down a half court shot, so she was she was going crazy. Now, I read something, because I've done my homework. There's a little wager. Can you explain to our fans what the wager is? Is, the, is this the wager fair? I, I, I will. He, we, <laughs> we, we're already sugar on it, so it has to be fair. But uh, we obviously know how big family is, and they come support us wherever we play. So uh, whoever loses got to take care of the, the ticket request uh, anytime we play Portland or vice versa. So we'll see what happens. You shook your hand to that? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm Y'all got a big family. Why not? Why not? Still, why not? I'm, 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 I'm planning on winning. We gonna, on yeah, winning? yeah, not a dime's coming out of my pocket. Oh, last one. That was it. That's I, it. I, I, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, I'm going to let my shooting do the talking. All right. All right, guys. You heard it first. Interesting uh, side light to the uh, three-point competition tonight with Steph and Seth. And Seth actually statistically ranks higher than Steph does this year in three-point percentage. Uh-oh, we got Auburn in the house. Yes, we do. War Eagle to us. We got Cam Newton, uh, eight-year veteran of the NFL, all with the... Uh, you can't hear us yet. All with the team in Charlotte. Uh, here are the... Can you hear us, Cam? Carolina Panthers. Technical difficulties. Yeah. Are, are you are you hearing us okay? I can hear you now, but okay. my head, my headphones are. Oh, okay. come on in. Fix them up, Bo. Come on, you can fix them up, Jose. There we go. Jose, you can do it. There we go. Get uh, some air time. Uh, there All right, go. so great job, Jose. What is it? What is it, Cam, about this city? What would you tell the rest of the country about the kind of sports city that Charlotte, North Carolina is? Well, it's building. It's building and and, and, and having events like this, All Star Weekend, uh, CIAA been here for years. It's just great for the uh, economic system of this city, and, and uh, you know, Charlotte is the place to be. You know, go ahead, Shaq. We've had a lot of football players on this show, and mostly all of them think they can play in the NBA. I don't know your basketball stats, but if, is it possible that, I mean, because we all know you're a great athlete, is it possible that if you put your mind to it, you could be an NBA player? It's not if I put my mind to it. There's no doubt about it. I can be a, a contributor to a team right now. Straight up. That's 10 for 10. <laughs> 10 for 10. Straight 10 up. For 10. 10 now, now, now. 10 I'm, NFL <laughs> players that say they can play in the NBA. But the, oh, thing, sure. the thing is this. I'm not just talking offensively, though. Because if all else fails, I know I can play defense. And I know I can do that. Okay, since, uh, since 10 for 10. Yeah. Who is the Cam Newton of the NBA? The Greek freak. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh. Okay, so if you were in the NBA, he was ready immediately. I already know. I already knew y'all was gonna ask me that. No question. I didn't know that I was gonna ask. Uh, Number one, how's your shoulder? It's doing good. It's doing good. We're progressively getting better. Um, You know, I know there's a lot of reports and speculations. But you're gonna sit out next year? Absolutely not. And if if I sit out next year, I'll be playing basketball. (laughs) (laughs) Eleven for (laughs) eleven. Hey, so let me ask you a question. I mean, obviously, every week on the NFL. What you're going to wear is a big topic. Right. How much time and effort do you put into it, your, your clothing? I just pick something from a shirt to a, a pants or a shoes, and, I, and, and everything else rolls off of it. You know, what I, you know what I like? I see you on a lot of those post games, and you got the bow, and there's, there's one right there. You're not afraid to wear the bow tie either. Trip too hard, don't stand too close. <laughs> I'm going to go with number one and number three. All right, question, football question. In 1996... I got swept by the great Michael Jordan. And before I walked off the court, he said, before you succeed, you must first learn to Look fail. Look at this, please. Who wore it Oh, better? yeah, who wore oh, better? No, no, no. Yo, oh, Jimmy Cam. Gold, Jim Goldstein, baby. Uh, they quick with it. <laughs> they quick with it. Yes. Yeah. Hey. All so, right, go ahead, Shaq. I was saying the great Michael Jordan told me, before you succeed, you must first learn to fail. Right. And I know you failed many times. Does it upset you? And, and, and are you still itching to get one or two championships on the Man, event? listen, in order to get two, you first got to get one. And one thing about it, this beautiful city of Charlotte I call home now is, is, is yearning for sustained success. And, uh, you know, this past season, football season, early on, we, we, we were winning. But in a lot of part, it didn't turn out the way we wanted to. And at the end of the day, I put a lot of uh, blame on myself. And I will be better. And a lot of it stimulates on my health. But, you know, moving forward, no need to, 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 to cry over spoiled milk. Uh, the Carolina Panthers will be a team to be reckoned with in the next couple of years. Cam, let's take a look at the three-point field. And because you know your basketball, um, I want you to pick the winner of the uh, three-point contest tonight. We're about to hear from the Greek freak, Cam Newton. <laughs> 
I'm picking right now. Yeah, you're picking right it's now. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard to pick against uh, Steph. He's a hometown guy. I'm gonna also go with the hometown guy with Kimba. Um, Way to go and, out on the limb, Cam. And and, and Big Booker, you know, the, Booker. the defending champion. Absolutely. He went he went 20 for 27 in the last round last year. But he still didn't pick a winner. You picked three guys. You got to pick. Yeah, you one don't, we, we don't do three. that, Cam. One of those three. They have to get out. They figured out. I don't know. <laughs> Shaq, who you got? I got uh, Steph Curry, my favorite player. Ooh. Chuck? Uh, I'm going to go with Kimba Walker. I'm going with the hometown favorite. Ooh. I'm going to go with Seth. Oh, you're going with Seth? Seth not Steph. Dog. I'm going with Seth. I'm going to go He's home, uh, too. I'm going to go this Steph. Is home for him, too. You're right. You're right. All right. Home too. I'm taking Steph. Cam has a present for Charles. I do. I do. Really? You know, I'm a big fan of the show, and I will be remiss for you guys to come in Charlotte, and I'm pretty sure you know what these are. Oh, uh, so, <laughs> low-cut bracelet. So, low-cut bracelet. I, 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 you don't even no. have to go to So, a, I didn't hear the steam room. room. No, <laughs> no, we didn't, we didn't meet in the steam yeah, room. No, you, you know what I'm saying? Man. So, uh, we yeah. actually have the business owner and the CEO here for you, Mr. Charles, so you can oh. finally find out what they are. They're infused with mud from the Dead Sea, which is the lowest part of the earth, and uh, infused with water from Mount Everest, which is the highest part of the earth. And it's a key, uh, continual and, you know, hey, thought to and, stay balanced. And, and, but stay most hum- importantly, yeah. they're steam proof. Yeah. Steam proof, absolutely. Steam proof. Stay, stay yeah, humble, steam, absolutely. stay hopeful. The, yo- the low Kai bra- bracelets. Yes. Very sir. good. All right, uh, here you go. Here's some here's some uh, Check out my football, football ah, Got him. Ah, got him. <laughs> That's got after him. the play. That's after LSU, the play. LSU stops <laughs> open, so, so, so you might be oh, able to play in the NBA, Cam, but no NFL future for those two. No way. No way. <laughs> Thanks a lot for stopping by. It's great to see you, man. Appreciate you for having me. War Eagle, my brother. War oh, Eagle. Uh, and, and good luck with the uh, yes. rehab in the shoulder. Man. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Right, you know this guy, Cam, coming up? Meek Mill coming up. Meek yeah. Millie! EA Action. Accelerate your deal on Auto Trader, official car search engine of the NBA. One of our all-time favorites, great ambassador for the NBA, Dikembe Mutombo. Yes. On Here in Charlotte, one of the great men you ever gonna meet. Without question. Fat Joe! No, that's Fat yeah, that's that's Joe. Joe. Pekka. Two chains in the and house. And Spike Lee. And the great Spike Lee. Academy Award nominee. Yes. That, oh, I can't wait for the Academy Award. Yeah. <laughs> and we welcome you back to Spectrum Center. And the guests just keep on coming. Meek uh, Mill is here. Yeah, weekend. Yeah, was, and he, he has the honor of tomorrow night performing pregame uh, yeah. here at the All-Star game. Uh, what's that, uh, that going to be like for you, man? Uh, it's going to be exciting to me. I've been waiting for that a long time. You know, I come from uh, rapping in the streets of Philadelphia to performing at the All-Star game in NBA. So, you know, uh, it's going to be a good experience for me. And are you going to do my joint? Which one is that? Hold up, wait a minute. Yeah. You know what I'm I don't don't think it sounds like that, though. Uh, I'm platinum also. You know nothing about this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, tell him me. Platinum basketball player. Yeah, yeah facts. <laughs> oh, well, that. first, we know he's a great basketball fan. Yeah. I've always had the affinity. About seven, I think it was six, seven years ago. Yeah. Meek was bubbling, being that guy. Yeah. I made a call. I said, hey, can you come do a feature on my daughter's record? First person ever to do a feature on Kayla's Yeah, record. I was on fire, too. He was on like, fire. I rock with you. No, no. And he just, he's like, got you. Yeah. No problem. Did it. I got that. She put her on the map. Okay, yeah. people I do that for a lot of people I rock with. It don't hurt me when you're talented, you know. You extend it out. Man, you know, you give was, people their shots. You know, you know, obviously, you know, I know a lot about you living in Philly during the summer. What do you think, and I know you're a big 76ers fan. Yeah. What do you think about all the moves they made in the last month or so? You, you don't like that? You don't like they them? made some power moves, you don't think so? No, I'm just, I'm just listening to Chuck. Oh, all right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every time he looks at Chuck, he yeah, just shakes his head. I think, think we're going deep in the playoffs. I think we made some good moves. We've been playing good ever since we made the moves we made. And, you know, I think we got a shot. We got a nice young team. And I feel like we're ready. Yeah, I was going to say. you have a shot, but do you have a chance to beat Golden State if you meet them in the finals? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's You're, the only way I think. If you don't think you could be somebody, you can't be them. Your latest album, uh, champion. Yeah. Your latest album, championships. Yeah. And then we watched the New England Patriots yeah. win the Super Bowl. Yeah. And here's what you do for Robert Kraft, their owner, a guy who's always been in your corner. Yeah. And you give him the chain. Yeah, I gave him a championship chain. You know, uh, 
Are you getting bust down too? When I was locked up, Robert, one of the people that came to see me and spoke out in my behalf. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, he's been a friend of mine for the last few years. He's been winning a lot, so I gave him a little piece of my neck. This is MC Donuts. Here, Ernie, you don't want to wear it, I'll rock it. You, you wear it, I'll rock it. Okay. Chuck's got oh, the donut. Oh, that's a little different. Chuck's got the donut chain Why does look a little different from ours? Yo, I just want to say why. Y'all hey, hey, some oh, yeah, funny brothers. Right right you, you know what you... <laughs> I make this look good, though. Oh, you can I make this look good. Back, 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 I make this look good, yes. though. Those are, those are edible, too. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> look at them. Look at them, Ernie. <laughs> yeah, you know, the, the worst thing I was making sure I don't want to get anything on my brand new suit. And we laughing and joking, Meek, and I went, 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 Quick thing, you, you, you've been. I just said you rapped in the streets of Philly, and now you're rapping at the All Star Game. Yeah. But you also have been making a lot of social changes. Yeah. Within, did you ever feel like, man, I didn't have a voice of social change when you were rapping in the streets of Philly with your hair braided up all the way back to the back? Yeah, no, nah, uh, I was one of the voiceless. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. They actually gave me a platform. You know, this time people got behind me when I got arrested, basically. Uh, two to four year sentence for not even committing crime. And, you know, I wanted to uh, stand behind the people that stood behind me and try to really make change. Like, I ain't really got to, I don't want to be the face of uh, injustices or anything. I just want to help and, and, and use my resources and do what I can do to make change and keep it pushing. And you, you know, I spent a little time with Mr. Kraft the week of the Super Bowl. And he was talking about spending time with you. And I know Malcolm Jenkins has done some things yeah. about judicial reform. How important is that to you right now? Uh, it's, it's very important. It's my life. I've been on probation 11 years, been in jail three times without even committing crime. And, you know, I have the resources of knowing people like that, and I'm bringing them into our world and, you know, bringing them uh, to our aid and, and informing them on things that people like me go through coming up and trying to really make change in, in a world where, you know, uh, people don't really have a voice like myself. I didn't have a voice until I got famous, until I became a famous rapper. So, you know, I'm speaking up for the ones who are not famous. Meek Mill, thanks a lot for joining us here. We All look right, forward to seeing you, you performing All right, appreciate All right. before it. the All-Star Game itself on Sunday. What you got on the Twitter machine, boys and girls? Shaq singing Meeks. <laughs> <laughs> There's on, only Shaq. certain people that can scream that. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Shaq. You're on. Start it up. Yeah. I'm on what? Give, oh, give him a beat? You want no. beat? You want to hit No, no, no. We want you to say it. Hold up, wait a minute. They need you to say it. You want me to say what? Hold up, wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. Pop Y'all thought like I was spinach. spinach. <laughs> Y'all say something. I'm going to eat them like some spinach. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, and your tour starts Tuesday, correct? Motivational tour down there in Miami yeah. starting Tuesday. Yeah. Wow. Let's the great Bill Russell. The hey, great Russell. Bill Russell. There you go. Who I'm rocking the these game? chains to the club tonight. No doubt. Could be. Coming back in a minute. There's. We went from Meek to Neek. We'll be back. Hold off Shaquille O'Neal by five points. Wow. And you see all the charities there from Second Harvest to the Rookie Foundation, Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Athletic League. And uh, my charity was the Muscular Dystrophy Association. And this is why I love this game. It's why I love the guys I work with. It's why I love Auto Trader, those folks who sponsor this show because they are so generous and, yeah. and they have such big hearts. And, and the great thing about that game that we play is that the winner gets to give a car away to that charity of his his choice so having a one of my kids who has muscular dystrophy i chose mda and the charlotte branch of muscular dystrophy association found a family in need of new wheels and a van that can use that can accommodate a wheelchair and I was lucky enough to be there the other day when they brought a father and son by. They just thought they were coming by to see some of the all-star set up. Had no idea that they were about to leave with a brand new van. Here's the story. Is this the Esquivel family? Yes. Hey, is this, is this Omar? Yes, I am. How are you? Man, what a pleasure to see you. Are you looking forward to All-Star Weekend? Yeah. Who's your favorite player? Stephen. Oh, is he really? Yeah. You've got muscular dystrophy, correct? Correct. I have a son who has muscular dystrophy also. So you're how old? 15. 15. Michael just turned 30. 
is there. Yeah. yeah, and he's got Duchenne. Yeah. Omar, how does your dad get you in the car? How do you do it? Do you have to lift him? That's, that's not easy. No, that's what I say. It's yeah. hard, but uh, we have to do it. I mean, whatever I have to do for him, I have to, I'm just going to do it. Wow. You got a pretty devoted dad, don't you? Yeah. And mom and, and your family. That's, that's very cool. For All Star, we're going to be doing a couple of shows in here. I can't take you in there right now, but there is something else that I can show you that, we're, that we are doing for All Star. If you, if you guys want to follow me, and over here is what we want to show you. Um, actually, you know what, Omar and Omar? Turn yeah. it this way. This is actually what we'd like to show you. This is yours. What? This is yours. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. Auto Trader said, let's give the Esquivel family a new van so it'll be easier to get around, man, and no more lifting Omar up and putting him in the back seat because it'll have everything you need. On behalf of Auto Trader, we'd like to present you the keys to a 2019 Kia Sedona. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's too bad the rest of your family isn't here. We can say so. Yeah. yeah, we should. Hey, Michelle, I'm Ernie. I'm from TNT. That's a brand new van for your family. Here you go. You can take this. She's crying. Is she? Yes. It's our pleasure. And I know what and I know what it's like every day. And you're doing great. Thanks, Thanks Auto Trader. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was awesome, Ernie. No, that thanks to awesome. the folks at Auto yeah. Trader. I mean, Auto you know Damn, what? I'm crying. Yeah, you know I mean, what? He's, he, you That's, are so sick to die. <laughs> but when you start crying, then I start crying. It's, right. You can't be yeah. crying up here. Yeah. It's not just a game changer. It's no. a life changer for the Esquivel family. Yeah. And I speak from experience, being able to uh, take, amazing, man. take your young man around. and uh, Shout out to Michael, too. We love you, Michael. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Auto Trader, thanks. You made my night. And you made the. Uh... I agree with you, Santino. <laughs> we all out here. Man, I'm crying. We all out here crying, man. All our best to the Esquivel family. Man. That's great, honey. That is. Could switching to Geico really see. Smith Jr. of the Knicks, Miles Bridges from the hometown Hornets, Amadou Diallo of OKC, and John Collins of the Atlanta Hawks and John Collins put on a show last night in the Rising Stars game if anybody wondered what kind of dunking skills he has. Let's hope he saved him for the night. Yeah, he did a lot last night. Yeah. But I think that's oh, just Dominique. a warm-up. That's a warm-up. Ooh, this one was nice. Jason McGrady. Oh, Ooh. go get that. Man, that was that, that, he put That was pretty good right there. Who do we like? I'm going with John Collins. I I, I watched the Hawks play once. That's all I could take. Oh, I'm going with Hamadou on, Diallo. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Do you have a reason for these? For no, these? he don't have a reason, Ernie. He has he has what's called boyings. I mean, he has springs. He has bounce. He can get up pretty high. Look at that. You see that? That's about 45 right there. Look at that. Ah. Yeah, I'm, I'm that? going he with. Hangs in there. I'm going with left Look, rack city zone, queen zone. Diallo as well. Look at that. Ooh. I think overall, Chuck could never do that, Kenny. Oh, he's yeah. known his dad for a that. while, so I'm going. I'm going with Diallo. You've been in this before. You've been yeah, he, in, he, in, he, in both the three and the dunk. He sucked at both of them too. Yeah, that came in second to Dominique. So, second? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. I was about second. No, because I got wrong. Nobody goes around saying because I got wrong. Yo, you thought you just beat Dominique? Yeah, you bragged about going second when we beat y'all at the Rockets. Oh. And you know what? And I still got two more. See, there you go. I got more. I got more rings on all three of y'all combined up here. Hey, listen, how about that? We got two rings together, <laughs> brother. <laughs> tell me, tell me how much thought goes into it. Can you overthink it? And and where does where do the creative juices come from? It, it's on real this? simple. Last night at my party, Rock Kim, the greatest MC oh, was there. Goodness. You gotta move the crowd. MC starts for move the you gotta get the crowd engaged. And you do that because, by making it on the first dunk. But no, not Thank only you that, much. You yes. get, but you get your adrenaline going by your pre and post dunk antics. You can't make a great dunk 
and just kind of walk off. How did you, you get in the dunk contest anyway? Dude, check my bank account and you see how I got there. <laughs> so you mean to tell me the year that Birdman had 35 attempts, if he was No, he was terrible. Okay, but hold on, but hold on. He tried to dunk for the free throw. But they were simple. Hey. Let, 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 no, he was trying to dunk for the free throw. No, hey. If he would have made that dunk on his 35th attempt, you would have gave him a I would have gave it to him just yes. for the effort. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, no, America, you weren't close on it, the first one, it on the and then you cent. made it on the 35th. <laughs> yeah. <you deserve> <laughs> so, it's over, baby. It's hey, over. Hey, uh, hey, America, All-Star Saturday night, the best weekend, All-Star weekend. Sit back and enjoy Are the show.